Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to watch this Power Hour cleaning video. I must tell you, I had tons of stuff to do in my house and zero motivation to do it. So I decided to try this idea of a Power Hour. I have seen it on YouTube but I've never done it before and I was pleasantly surprised with the outcome. I didn't get every single little thing done on my list, but I got a good majority of stuff done in this one hour. So come along and see what I got done. I started with my dishes first because that is the most annoying to me. So get the most annoying out of the way and if my kitchen is clean I just feel so much better about my whole house so I started with the dishes and my husband had loaded the dishwasher and put a lot of these pots and pans in there and I ended up taking them out washing them by hand and loading it with um, some other dishes that had accumulated over the day so that's why it looks like I kind of took things out and did all that I love cleaning my sink though, as you can tell, and I do it multiple, multiple times a day. I love wiping down my counters so when the counters are clean and wiped down that just gives me so much peace in my house and I love this Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray it just works so well on my granite countertops and it doesn't leave a harsh chemical smell that a lot of those um, counter disinfectant spray do I actually use it everywhere you can see I'm using it on my oven and most of the time I use a sponge and sponge off my oven and then I go over it with this. Um, my oven didn't have anything that was stuck on so I just used the spray this night. So I guess I should address the elephant in the room. I totally forgot to let you guys know that I'm actually talking to my mom on the phone. She called right when I started this video, right when I started doing the dishes, and I never say no to my mom. I just think that time is a fleeting thing, and no matter what time it is, I always take my mom's call, and I usually end up talking to her for a really long time, and that is just a normal thing for me, and I actually get tons more done when I'm speaking to somebody on the phone than I do just um, sitting around or not talking on the phone. And I don't know if it's just my personality or a multitasking thing, but it really helps me get stuff done. So for the majority of this video, you actually see me talking on the phone with my mom, but it really actually helps me get stuff done and I do it all the time. <laughs> actually a Norwax mop. My neighbor just started selling Norwax and she let me use this mop and the idea of this is you're supposed to go over it dry with that orange mop head and then you change the mop head and you use a wet mop head 
and that one you just put water on and you mop your floor so you don't have to use any chemicals it's like very environmentally friendly and I have to say I actually really did enjoy this mop I enjoyed the wet mop head a lot um, the dry one was eh for me but the wet one worked really really well so that's why you'll see me kind of struggle with it because I was testing it out and so far I'm actually been excited about Norwex I don't really know a lot about it but I am excited to learn more I'm still talking to my mom as you can tell um, I still have the phone to my ear um, but this is one of those things where it does make it a little bit hard when you need two hands to actually clean things so it got a little bit more difficult when I was cleaning my living room but I didn't let that stop me I really wanted to get as much done as I could because I just felt like my house was atrocious so Sometimes uh, things are a little bit difficult, but we just keep going. So I will totally admit it, I'm kind of a dustaholic. I really like dusting. I really like the way the wood looks right after you dust. And if I could dust every day, I totally would. It just doesn't allow in my schedule a lot of times. So it's, you know, every couple of days, usually for me, which is probably a lot more than most people. But even when I was a kid, I remember we used to clean the house before my mom got home from work. And so we would vacuum and dust and pick up the living room at least and I remember I always dusted that was like my job and I loved it I always have and I love the way it looks and so you'll see in a lot of my cleaning videos I dust obsessively My guest bathroom so it's the bathroom that if you came to my house that you would use and also my son uses this bathroom so I try to uh, clean this bathroom at least once a week and usually one to two times during the week I will wipe it down um, kind of like what I'm doing right now because uh, my son is young and young boys tend to be a little bit more messy in the bathroom and I just want to make sure that if anyone comes over, a neighbor or anything like that, that this is in good condition and that there's always fresh towels and things like that. I hate going to somebody's house and they have um, grimy towels or no soap or you just look at it and you know that it hasn't been cleaned 
and the bathroom is just one of those that if you can't clean anything else in your house, I feel like your bathroom should be top on your list. towels in this bathroom at least twice a week. I try to put numerous towels out because I hate it when you have company and you know that other people have gone in there and used the restroom and they've washed their hands and the towel is wet and you have to dry your hands on that towel. So I try to give numerous options kind of all over the bathroom so that's why you'll see um, numerous towels hanging up. Thank you guys for coming over and watching this speed clean and power hour. I'm really excited about this power hour idea and it worked well for me. There was some stuff that I didn't get done that I was kind of bummed about like I didn't get my vacuuming done and I didn't get my glass cleaned um, all around my house. But then I got to thinking that we give ourselves such a hard time and I really need to look at things in a different perspective. and give myself more credit and say, hey Lacey, you cleaned three rooms today and they look awesome. If we all give ourselves that grace to be imperfect people, then we will have so much more happiness in our life. So I hope this gives you some motivation and helps you to pick a room in your house and just get started and try this power hour idea because I was not sure of it, but I think I really like it. I will see you guys in my next brand new video, and thank you so much for coming over. If you haven't already um, subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will see y'all in the next brand new video.